Today we're checking out the story of Minecraft Sniffer, cartoon animation by GameTunes. So this is the new mob in Minecraft I heard from Minecraft Live. This is going to be my very first time seeing what it truly is because I don't pay attention to Minecraft too much. So, uh, hey, we're going to get this started right here, right now. Let's dive right on in. Alright, time to go up. You did it, Steve. Steve. Someday soon, we may once again see the appearance of the ancient sniffer. Crimson, six legged, turtle like mobs with bright yellow mm. beaks. These gentle, beautiful creatures have always had a soft spot in their hearts for humans. Aww. Their trust and compassion knows no bounds. But so their the true love has always been with plants, specifically plants. their seeds. They are the only creatures in the overworld with a sense of smell powerful enough. Oh, so they're Even all the they're friendly, they're harmless. The That's earth. nice. Some of the seeds they find can be rare and extremely valuable, sprouting mysterious vines that have long been forgotten. There mm. really is nothing their nose can't track down. No matter how so if I ever play Minecraft distance, again, I'm definitely going to get this one what ally you know or whatever. The sniffers from long ago were much different the than they are now. So and friendly. They were able to grow considerably larger. The story of how they went extinct in the first place is a sad tale. Oh but boy. But it's one very important to the history of this world. Hmm. At one point, there used to be entire herds of them, grazing on grass in the lowest of valleys. This was back in the prehistoric period, where the earliest of ancient players appeared in the overworld. They thought the sniffers would be easy prey, and in many ways, they were. Sniffers were unathletic, slow, simple-minded, and showed very oh, little no. Let's go after this little one before he notices he's by himself. <laughs> Should be an easy Man. Kill. I don't really want to I hurt already these hate things. both Look of how them. Cute they are. You're hungry, aren't you? <sighs> yes. No, don't don't uh, kill it. Get meat. someone else. We're hunters. Remember, taking down wild animals is what we do. Okay. Just get another animal. Here it's we go. that easy. One quick swing and it's all over. Wait, stop. Yeah, use the seeds. What are these? I think it's how you make plants grow. The sniffers were able to survive by finding seeds. Oh wow, he got big fast. Seen crops, blueberries, strawberries, corn, and the hunters realized why would they ever hurt these animals? You slay one. Okay, so maybe redemption arc. Day. Redemption arc. If you Already. Grow a big enough farm, you can eat for an entire lifetime. Together, those early builders were able to construct a utopia. It was truly paradise on Earth. Generation after generation, the ancient humans of the valley lived in peace with their sniffer allies. Unfortunately, they weren't the only humans in Minecraft. What? Other civilizations were also created. Bro, Once they're getting so big. And driven by bloodlust. One such nation eventually found... Is that like a ninja or something? And they decided to resort to war. Men! Our scout has given the signal! Get ready to charge! Oh, Attack! God. An entire army of ravenous soldiers cascaded down the mountainsides and burned that ain't down good. everything they could. Nearly every building, plant, and creature was destroyed. The sniffers and humans were ambushed and stood no chance at defending themselves. Only a handful of sniffers and humans were able to escape through a secret mountain That's good. Pass. Evacuate! They at the valley as they fled, the only home they ever knew. All that their bloodlines had built over thousands of years, as it all came crashing down. What are you all celebrating for? This can't be the only village like this, and we won't stop until every last one is conquered. Unfortunately, the general was right. The army of warriors went from valley to valley, up and down the mountain range, invading Damn. every sniffer civilization. 
their homelands in ashes, the remaining survivors were forced to flee far, far away to the distant seas. With the help of their sniffer friends, they were able to discover a new shelter, a safe haven for peaceful farmers to start over. Nice. It would later be called the Sanctuary. Look, over there. Is that an island? The sniffers found us a new place to call home. They've saved us. Don't worry, little guy. With your help, we'll be able to make an entire new farm in no time. Damn. What if those warriors find us again? Don't worry, they won't. Plus, I have a backup plan. Backup plan? Oh, snipper eggs! I can't believe you were able to escape the attacks with this! It That's wasn't good. easy, but it was worth it. As long as we have All these right. eggs, we can always rebuild. And we'll always have a family. And rebuild they did. With sniffers and humans in perfect harmony, That's good. the sanctuary Thank God. became an even more magical place than the Valley Kingdoms Looks they were Looks gorgeous, to not gonna lie. Meanwhile, back on the mainland, there was nothing but devastation. The once luscious gardens became barren deserts. The bodies of the deceased sniffers turned into giant fossils lying in the sand. You're just eating and all no the apples. One experienced the barrenness of the overworld more than the warriors. Um... Sir, what? I'm glad you're enjoying your meal, but that's the last of our food. How come we're always stealing, conquering, and pillaging? Because you're evil. And yet, we never have anything to show for it. You have well, no soul. Sir, it's because we always burn down all the buildings. You have no passion crops, for anything. And we besides have fighting. Livestock. Well, how else are we supposed to survive? The other humans, they grow food from the ground. They're pets, the six-legged animals. Those big red dinosaur things that were always smelling dirt. Yeah, they're called mm -hmm. sniffers. They help them grow all sorts of delicious foods. Before we destroyed everything, I grabbed some of these. They're actually really good. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Hmm? You say that they grew this stuff from the dirt? Why don't we do that? Well, we need the sniffers' help, sir. They're the ones that find all the seeds buried in the ground, mm -hmm. and we chase the last of them away. Then I think it's about time we track them down. And track them down they did. The general sent his scouts all oh, over God. to find the secret sniffer hideaway, and eventually they did. They geared up for one final fight, an invasion of the sanctuary, a chance to capture all the sniffers and kill off the farmers for good. Oh, As God. they approached, all the warriors were prepared for a glorious battle. But when they arrived, the humans immediately surrendered. Please don't hurt us or the sniffers. We come in peace. <laughs> I knew all of you were a bunch of weaklings already. But I thought you would at least put up some kind of a fight. You can have all of our crops. You can take over the whole island. Just let us go Just freely. don't hurt anyone. You. you know what? You got yourselves a deal. If... You leave behind the sniffers. The humans begrudgingly accepted. They hated leaving their dear sniffer friends behind, but they knew that with the eggs on board, they would be able to rebuild again. Oh, thank what God. They didn't realize, however, was that the sniffers were much more loyal, even to a fault. When the warriors tried to make them dig up seeds, they refused. The general became filled with rage. If the sniffers were not going oh, to help no. his people, then they would be eradicated from the earth. To make matters worse, the general went back on his promise. He was convinced the farmers had somehow pitted the sniffer against him, and he ordered for every last ship to be attacked. And with that, the last of the sniffers became extinct. Damn. All that remained was their eggs, buried deep in the underwater chests of shipwrecks. Now it appears the sniffers are back again, undoubtedly to help human players yeah, once from more, Minecraft Live. Even though they truly don't deserve their friendship or kindness. I just sincerely hope, from the bottom of my heart, that they are able to treat them much better than our ancestors. That's good. So that's the story. Wow. I already like this, uh, this person, the sniffers in Minecraft. They're so nice, just... Why would anyone want to hurt them?